Copenhagen 4, Manchester United 3. Another loss this season, another loss in the Champions League. A bizarre game for so many reasons. Andy Tate is with me. Just first of all, give me your thoughts on that. On what was it? just a, 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 a almost unique feeling game, wasn't it? If Carlsberg did European nights, this would be one of them. Yeah. And <laughs> Isn't and that meant and to be I'll, the best in the world? Or maybe uh, yeah, we have the best of the best and we were left with a better taste. Yeah. You know, the, the little drip tray. It was a drip tray at the end. It was yeah, absolutely gut-wrenching and it sour taste at the end. After a really promising, gutsy performance from the Reds, Vars gone against us again, and you just wonder. Well, you just, I'm, you, can, you can't get a rubber the green. It, it wasn't intentional. Yeah. It, Vars on its ass. Like we've all we've seen the debate in the last couple of days, and um, he shouldn't have gone. But like you say, his ankle bent, and it, yeah. like you say, it hurt the poor lad. But yeah. after a gutsy, really good half an hour, we were in control. Two great goals from yeah. Highland. Yeah, cracking start after three minutes, and. Um, it say, it say we were in the ascendance there for 30, 35 minutes and the game changed Yeah. on a VAR on a decision. And you see, you see Rashford's reaction. He was like shaking his head, even met Tom and he's like, come on. Yeah, I think even for people who think, right, he could have broke his ankle, it's a red. It's, it's still massively unfortunate, isn't it? Because simply for the fact that he didn't mean to do it. You know, he's not looking at the player. You can Everyone can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to step across him and shield it. Regardless of if it is or isn't a red, it's really unlucky to get a, to get a red card there, isn't he? Yeah, I think it's really unlucky. I and mean, you just wonder, there'll be a decision in another game, maybe tomorrow or weekend, where it's it will, uh, a player will it'll happen like that yeah. and he won't get sent off. And you just wonder, what, what the hell's going on? The game's... The game's slowly dying now there's like it, there's no enjoyment now it's it's taking enjoyment i can't enjoy yeah any for any form of top level football yeah. whether it be european premier league you just can't enjoy it because it, it's killing the game and you you put all your effort into performances and you you really are your backs to the wall as well second half performance guts there mm. absolutely like you know we take the lead as well yeah but click it but switch switching off as well so what's the going end. on there then? United are three to up. Bruno's just scored a penalty. What goes wrong from there? You invite pressure. Yeah. Oh, look, they're going to come at you. Understand that. There go the low. Sees his runner. Checks him. Don't even pick him up. Free, yeah. free. Absolutely clueless. You tell me. It's not even a ten hour signing. He's absolutely. And we we was it? We give him another contract. Seriously, that's twice in seven days he's been done. That gets Newcastle as well. So I'm not happy with the law as well. And comical errors, like you say, Keystone Cops defending Varane. Oh, God, I'm just, you know what? Let's just concentrate on our league form. I'm not interested in the last two games. Well, you say that, but United have got three points. The two teams above us have got four points. So by no means are we out of this. The, the problem is... We have got... never won in Turkey. Okay. Ever. How many times have we played Galatasaray away? It's not more than three or four, is it? Oh, yeah, about three or four. How many times four. is it? I'd like to know that, actually, if we can oh, if it's the 3-3 three, three of 1993, it's going to be a hell of a night in Istanbul. Yeah, I know it's obviously a very difficult place to go. I'm not trying to undermine that, and I know it's going to be really difficult. And you, you, and you, and you expect chance, this though? team You expect this team to go to Istanbul when they know they, they can crumble in an atmosphere of on a game of so much importance. Yeah. They could, they've crumbled in a derby, they crumbled against Newcastle, they crumbled in atmospheres last season at Anfield, Etihad. It's in his team to win, but it's also in his team to crumble. Like yeah. you say, even if we do beat Galatasaray, you seriously think we're going to beat Bayern Munich? I don't think we'll beat Bayern Munich, personally, no. So Just this, on the Galatasaray thing, so we've played them away three times and we've drawn two and lost one. So you could say... We've only lost once away from home against uh, against Galatasaray. If you yeah, you could it say that. Light, but come on, we, we it's are just be hard. We, we are just fighting for Europa League. Do you I'm, think? I'm not, yeah, yeah. That, Would fight. you want that? Would you want Europa League? Not interested. I'd oh, rather cool. just concentrate on domestic farm now because there's enough there. These players played 
like you say, they played with an urgency and energy tonight. Like you say, mm. that sign Saturday, yep. it actually got to them. And we played well for 35 minutes. And that's the best we've played all season. If you count the Tottenham game, all right, we never got anything out of it. But that's, like you say, it's about keeping, maintaining this. So just on that then, because if we are trying to take some positives out of this game tonight, that 35 minutes was the closest thing we've had to a very good performance all season. Yeah. Obviously that wasn't enough, but it turned on that red card. Yeah. Do you see some positives that the players are still fighting for the manager, that we're actually yeah. seeing improvements rather than things going backwards I like do, they have been all I season? Do. Does that give you some confidence does, going it, forward? It does give me some confidence, right? You get all the haters tomorrow, it's a 10, ten ag disaster, he's got to go, he's got to go. You get all the snippets, all the, all the media. I'm not, I'm not, we're not interested, like you say, you close rank, you shut down the shutters. I just think, like you say, United should just shut down, keep block everybody out and play. They yeah. can do it. You've seen it tonight, and we can do it. So I just want to concentrate on league form. Mm. League form now. And we've got loot in Saturday. Like I say, you can't beat loot. I don't know what, what to do anymore. I really mm. do. And this, this is what you get if you feed Ireland. Start feeding the poor lad. Yeah, well, that's a, gr that's a great sign from tonight, isn't it? I know that both of those goals were poachers' goals, were strikers' goals. I know, obviously, I'd have put, I, right I'd type, put yeah. it in, tapping at the back post, but he's in the right position consistently. He's got the speed to keep up with Garnacho for that um, second goal as well. If you were a slightly slower striker, the ball would have rolled past the post before he got to it, and it would have been a really difficult finish. He's got the pace, he's got the presence. Is he someone that five goals, top scorer in the Champions League, is that another positive from tonight? It is a positive. It is a positive. It, it's a small, small shred of comfort with this lad. Like you say, if you start feeding him, he'll score. Yeah. Now, this, this is what worries me. Will they, will they revert back to normality on Saturday? Yeah. But they, they have to use this performance and go forward now in the, in the next few games. Obviously, it's an international break and all that now, but we have to, like... We have to turn up on Saturday. We need a convincing performance. Yeah. Do we you really see that? do. Do you see it? I do, I do. That that first half an hour, let's say if you feed him, he'll score. You feed Ireland, I don't know if Rashford will play. Like you say, I really don't know. Like you say, Marshall, will he play? I don't know. Changes at Johnny Evans is out. Varane will start Saturday. I yeah. think Maguire as well. The low. Jog on, get off, I'm not interested. Bring somebody else in. I suppose regular ones. But one thing I will say about Dallow is these last couple of games we've seen this complacency almost creeping in at times. He's all mouth. He's, he's all mouth. He's played, That's all he is. He's played two games a week for the last two months. Well, everyone else has been injured. He's played every single game. And I'm not saying you're allowed to make mistakes because you play every week. You should have to you should be able to play a week and but do we do you think maybe you could do with a rest? Everyone else you would say, he's played every week, maybe we could have a do you think we can maybe say to him, actually, you've been poor the last couple of games, let's bring someone else in rather than say, you know, yeah, he's finished. I, I would I, I would say bring bring in regular yeah. because like say Luton Luton have not won many games. They've won at they've won at Everton, I think that's in Drew with Liverpool last week as yeah. well. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you can't take anything for granted in the Premier League now. Um, this, the performance tonight we use for Saturday and we go forward and the international break, that's it. They say we, we, we're, only, say we're only six points off the, off the, top, off the top four. Yep. That's our target now this season. Yep. I, I'm not interested in Europe. It's done. No matter how, how much mathematically it's, it's there to be done, I'm, I'm just not interested. Right. Thank you, Andy. Hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Copenhagen 4, Manchester United 3. We'll see you in a bit.